Hey there, everyone. It's a terrific Tuesday. Tuesday, April 20, 2021. Hope you're doing well. Let's begin our devotion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So today we'll begin, uh, we'll look at our, the uh, a psalm reading for this coming Sunday, and it starts to point us to uh, what is um, just maybe to some degree a fairly well-known Sunday in the church year. Uh, it's Good Shepherd Sunday. Uh, so we will see, uh, obviously, in this and in the gospel lesson, uh, Jesus talking about, and hear David talking about our great shepherd, Jesus Christ. And of course, uh, in, in, for most people, you think shepherd and you think Old Testament. You can't help but think of Psalm 23, a favorite of mine and I'm sure of yours as well. I still remember as a little, little boy sitting in my grandmother's kitchen in Robinson, Illinois, uh, and she would read this. And I was always amazed that every time she read it, uh, you could see her crying. Uh, these words meant so much to her, and I know they probably do to you as they do to me as well. So let's begin. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's what a shepherd does, right? He cares for the needs of that which he watches over. He protects them. He leads them. He makes sure that they have everything they need. Um, and as we go along in this, uh, it, this idea also takes on the sense of being a host, uh, that a host does the same thing thing and our good shepherd right is our host at his holy supper verse 2 he makes me to lie down in green pastures there's such a sense of joy and anticipation of abundance and peace when you think about green pastures isn't there all your daily needs met um, and that's what we have by faith he leads me beside still waters. Now, uh, for the longest time, I had still waters, and I again think of a peaceful lake or pond. But there's something actually very important about this in terms of shepherding. Uh, sheep can't drink from rough water. It has to be calm for them to be able to drink from it. Uh, so this is that shepherd ensuring that his sheep, you and me, get what we need in the way we need it. Um, I just want incredible care and love and concern. Verse 3, he restores my soul. He protects it, right? He keeps it alive. He refreshes it and he renews it. He leads me in paths of righteousness. That's his way, right? He, Jesus, is the way. For his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. All those fears, all of those times of mourning and suffering. Um, if God is with us, then even in those dark times, we are on the path of righteousness. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me, right? A rod and a staff, they guide, they protect, they bring back, um, but they also correct. Those things, they comfort us. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Again, the sense of a host. Um, in our enemies, right? And even in the sense of adversity and struggle, this table is still prepared. And we long and we pray that even those who we are seem to be at odds with or opposed against, 
uh, or maybe they have it out for us, we pray that even they would eventually join us at this heavenly feast. You anoint my head with oil. This is a, a something that a host did for uh, guests as they came to receive this meal. Uh, I can't help also but thinking about baptism there, right? Anointing our head, which was done for us by our good shepherd in our own baptism. My cup overflows. The sense of abundance in so many different ways. And finally, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. It, they never stop, right? Uh, we continue to be blessed all the time. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's your life today. That's your hope for the days to come from your good shepherd. I pray that you see, that you know, that presence and that abundance, that love and graciousness, graciousness of God in your life today and always. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, and to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That good shepherd is leading you today uh, in his paths of righteousness whether it's a day um, in that dark shadow, um, his light still shines, right? Uh, I pray um, that you know his blessing and you know his presence and his guidance today and always, my dear friend. So, go out there. He's leading you to go wash your hands too, right? To love your neighbor. Make sure you do it long enough by singing that doxology. Uh, then go about and have a fantastic day.